Like the country, Romania's footballers were only truly liberated with the fall of the Ceausescu regime in 1989. Some of Europe's most talented players were finally able to move to Europe's best clubs, where they've improved their bank balances, their self-esteem and the national team's results. Romania reached the quarter-finals of the 94 World Cup. They returned as heroes. And their experienced coach, Angel Fjordanescu, has turned them into one of the best eight teams in the world. Romania was seeded for France 98 after imperious progress during qualifying. They eased through and were the first European nation to make it. En route, Jordanescu saw his team score 37 and concede just four, raising hopes of even greater success at their third finals running. We are happy because uh, for us, uh, we have been in Italy in 1990, also we have been in the uh, United States in 94, and now in 98 uh, we will be also in uh, France. Jordanescu has been central to the growing profile of Romanian football, but it's been a tempestuous rain at times. Just three weeks before Euro 96 he quit, angry at poor facilities and match rigging in club football. He only returned when Federation officials pledged to make changes. Georgi Hadji is the closest thing to a Romanian football legend. Labelled Europe's Maradona, he's won more than 100 caps, scored more goals for his country than any other player. Hadji has been their guiding light at the last two World Cups. He's 33 now, yet his influence is stronger than ever. Hadji is like a king in Romania. He is one of the best our players from all uh, our history. Uh, he will have now the record for the games and the national team. And uh, for us it's important because in this moment he is captain of the team and uh, everybody likes the players which play today to be great, to be in the top. Despite his regal status, Hashi has retained his passion for playing international football. It's what he really seems to enjoy. For all his high-profile club moves, he joined Real Madrid after the 1990 World Cup and Barcelona after USA 94. Hashi can often be inconsistent in club football, a sporadic influence. For Romania, when it really matters, he rarely disappoints. His free kicks, despite his size five feet, are lethal and legendary. Some of his contributions during the qualifying campaign were as breathtaking as ever. Allowed to roam and run free by Jordanescu, Hagi will rarely make a tackle in a match. But he'll never waste possession. And he'll always be the outlet for his teammates. 30-something he may be, but Hagi's brain is as sharp as ever. He'll be one of the most feared players at France 98. Petrescu and Popescu. Between them, they've won nearly 150 caps for the last decade. Both have been vital to Romania's development. He doesn't look it, but the baby-faced Dan Petrescu is a mature 30 now, yet he's as full of running from his right wing-back position as ever. He was outstanding at USA 94, and one of the many to contribute goals on the road to France. Four times Romania's Player of the Year, Georges Gica Popescu has been Haji's midfield minder for the last decade, but in qualifying, Popescu turned striker, scoring eight goals in seven games. I hope the national team in 1998 to be a, a compensation of be, between the um, uh, experience and the, the young talent. One Romanian club have provided the bulk of the national squad for the last 10 years, and Adrian Ili is the latest graduate of the Stauer Bucharest Academy. He came to prominence in Stauer's double winning side of 1996, played in the European Championships that summer, and then joined Georgi Hagi at Galatasaray in Turkey. In Haji's absence, Ilya has worn the number 10 shirt for Romania, but it's as a striker, not playmaker, that he'll feature in France. And in January 98 came a £4 million transfer to Spanish giants Valencia. Striker Viral Moldovan is another of the newer Romanian generation building a reputation abroad. Moldovan left for Switzerland in 1995, where he was top scorer for Nochitel and then for Grasshopper Zurich in consecutive seasons. A natural poacher of goals, Moldovan scored four times on the road to France, form that secured him a £3.25 million transfer to Coventry City in England's Premier League in December 97.
Ili Dumitrescu was one of the revelations of World Cup 94. Super fast, his speed and skill were key components as Romania upset Colombia and Argentina. Transfers to England and Spain floundered. Then came a move to Mexico and an upturn in form. And Jordanescu has stayed loyal to this talented player. France 98 marks the end of Angel Jordanescu's five years in charge of Romania. He's very aggressive. I mean, you know, in the, in the, in the camp, in the, in the training, he is very, very aggressive with the players. And uh, outside, outside the pitch is, uh, is a friend. Jordanescu's time in charge has clearly been helped by the new freedom Romania's best players enjoy. Yet if life's a dream abroad when they return to play for their country, Jordanescu can still motivate this team. He's a perfectionist. I'm sure we can do a good competition there, we can make uh, good games, but we need more time for the preparation. Now, uh, in this moment, with the rule of uh, FIFA, we cannot take the players uh, more than five days before the game. For the big competition, we will have a players around 10 or 12 days. It's not so much time for the preparation. But we hope a lot. We hope to make a good uh, uh, game there and we expect to make, uh, to do well. Romania struck the right work and play balance four years ago. A few more for the album from France would be nice.